Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 10 circles. We will learn a new concept today that is equal chords and the distance from the center. But let us first understand what is the distance between the center and the chord. So I will draw a circle. So this is my circle with center O and I will mark PQ as the chord. So now what I am going to do is I need to find the distance between O and PQ. So let's consider this point O outside and this chord PQ. Now this would be nothing but the distance between point O and the line PQ. So from O I can draw several lines onto PQ. One would be this line is the perpendicular line. There would be other lines like this. Many other lines, right? So what is the distance between O to the line PQ. It is none of these lines but just this line that is OM which is the perpendicular length. So the distance is the perpend the distance between a point and a line is the perpendicular distance uh, is the length between the point and the perpendicular drawn on that line on the this is the foot of the perpendicular. So let us write this down. So the distance between a point and line is the length, the perpendicular length from the point on the line. So here the key word is perpendicular. Why? Because see there were other lines also that we drew from this point to this line but which is the distance? It is the length between the point and the uh, foot of the perpendicular, the perpendicular length, right? So similarly now moving back to the circle, this is the center and this is the uh, this is your chord PQ. So this length out here, the perpendicular distance between O and PQ which is OM is the distance between point O the center O and the chord PQ. So let us say this length is X but what if we uh, what if I have my diameter? We know that the diameter passes from uh, passes through the center of the circle. So let my diameter be AB. What is the length between the center and the diameter going to be? It is going to be 0. So distance between the center and diameter is always 0. See because here we have the diameter on the point itself that is why this distance is going to be 0. Now let us take a look at equal chords and the distance from the center. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw a circle on a piece of paper with center O and I am going to mark two equal chords AB and PQ. So AB is equal to PQ. Now I am going to draw perpendiculars to AB let us say M and perpendiculars to perpendicular to PQ let us say N. And what I am going to do is I am going to fold this paper in such a manner like this horizontally such that A overlaps with P. You will notice that B will also overlap with Q and OM will overlap with ON. This means what? That OM is equal to ON. So this was a very simple diagram. Let us say I take two chords, two equal chords. Let us say this is my center O. I have my circle with center O, two chords AB and PQ. Again I am going to draw perpendiculars. So instead of here, I will draw my chord here, PQ. 
I'll mark this perpendicular length from O to AB as OM and O to PQ as ON. Now again, what you're going to do is you're going to fold the circle drawn on the paper in such a way that B overlaps with Q and A overlaps with P. You will notice that OM will overlap with ON. Therefore, OM is equal to ON. Therefore, we arrive to what conclusion? We arrive to a conclusion which is also theorem 10.6 of your textbooks which states that equal chords of the same circle or congruent circles are equidistant from the center or their centers. So what does this mean? If I have two chords, if I have two chords that are, e that are equal to each other, then they are going to be equidistant from the center of the circle. We will go ahead and we will prove this. So let's say I have two chords. I am erasing this circle. Now let's say I have these two chords out here. These are the perpendicular distance. We need to prove that OM is equal to ON. So what I am going to do is I am going to complete this triangle out here. Now if you notice OB is equal to OQ because they are the radii of the circle. AB is equal to PQ. This is given. Therefore half of AB is equal to half of PQ. Therefore, MB is equal to NQ. What, why MB is equal to NQ? MB is half of AB since the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord. So, we have MB is equal to NQ, right? And also, this is the right angle triangle out here. So, you have this hypotenuse equal, you have one side equal. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent to each other by the RHS test of congruence. Therefore, you can say that OM is equal to ON. Now, let's go ahead and write the proof. So, I'll say given. Let O be the center of circle with chords AB equal to PQ. AM is perpendicular, OM is perpendicular to AB and ON is perpendicular to PQ. To prove that OM is equal to ON. So you start with your proof with the construction. Draw OB and OQ. Now in triangles, so in triangle OBM and triangle OQN, what do you have? You have OP, OB is equal to OQ because they are the radii of the circle. Also you have angle OMB is equal to angle ONQ because each is equal to 90 degrees. So here OB and OP, uh, OQ, I am just going to say hypotenuse OB. Hypotenuse OB is equal to hypotenuse OQ. And finally we have half of AB is equal to half of PQ which implies that MB is equal to NQ. Why MB is equal to NQ? Because you have perpendiculars from center of the chord bisects the chord. And also what do we have? That AB is equal to PQ. So 
so i'm just going to write the remaining section over here therefore triangle omb or obm is congruent to triangle oqn by rhs test of congruence therefore what do we have therefore om is equal to on that is the perpendiculars drawn from the center of the circle to equal chords are equidistant so this was your theorem 10.6 we'll take a look at the converse which is theorem 10.7 so what would theorem 10.7 state it will be the converse which will state that chords equidistant from the center equidistant from the center of the circle of circle are equal what does this mean that if i have a circle with center o and two chords ab and pq ab and pq such that their distance so what is the distance we know that it is the length uh, line drawn from the center of the circle uh, to the chord and it's a perpendicular length from the uh, center of the circle to the chord so, so o is the center therefore this two other perpendiculars i'll call these am and an so am is perpendicular to om is perpendicular to ab and on is perpendicular to pq also according to the statement of this theorem chords equidistant from the center of the circle so chords that are equidistant from the center of the circle means that om is equal to on i need to prove that ab is equal to pq so how do we do this a very simple proof we are going to complete this triangle these two triangles out here you have these hypotenuse equal to each other that is ob and oq because they are the radii of the circle you have this as the right angle triangle and this as the right angle triangle out here and also one side om is equal to the other side on this is given therefore the two triangles are congruent to each other by the hypotenuse side test of congruence therefore i have mb is equal to nq but mb is twice of uh, is half of ab and nq is half of pq why because here om is the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord therefore it bisects the chord we have learned this in the start at the start of the chapter that the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle bisects the chord to the chord bisects the chord therefore you have ab is equal to pq since mb is equal to nq now let us go ahead and write this proof so i'll say given in a circle with center o and chords ab and pq what do we have we have perpendiculars you have om perpendicular to ab such that m lies between a and b and also you have on perpendicular to pq such that n lies between p, q, p and q and you have om is equal to on what do you need to prove to prove that ab is equal to pq so start with the construction i'll say join ob and oq now in triangles obm and triangle oqn you have hypotenuse ob is equal to hypotenuse oq because they are the radii you have angle omb equal to angle onq is equal to 90 degrees and also you have om is equal to on this is given therefore triangle obm 
is congruent to triangle OQN by hypotenuse or right RHS test of congruence that is right angle hypotenuse test of congruence. Therefore, what do you have? MB is equal to NQ by corresponding pair of congruent triangles. Therefore, twice of MB is equal to twice of NQ. Twice of MB is what? AB is equal to PQ. Now, why? Since perpendiculars drawn from center of chord bisects the chord therefore M is the midpoint of AB and N is the midpoint of PQ. Since M and N are the midpoints of sides uh, of line segments AB and PQ twice of MB would be twice of NQ. That means twice the length of M MB is going to be AB is equal to twice the length of NQ which is PQ. Hence we have proved theorem 10.5, uh, sorry this was 10.7. This is the converse of theorem 10.6. So what does this theorem state? Cause equidistant from the center of the circle are equal in length. Let's take a look at the solved example related to these two theorems in the next videos. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.